Hello friends I hope you all are doing great I'm Gaurav Sahani from Captain Cook Knowing the World Today we are back again with our next video in this net grf series that is paper 1 let's begin it slide number 1 basic aim of paper 1 is to test the teaching and research aptitude of the candidates so they expect that these abilities you have the cognitive ability includes comprehension skills analysis skills if you can evaluate or understand the structure of arguments and the most important deductive and inductive reasoning and they also expect general awareness and general knowledge from you notice each section gets equal weightage it means if you have five questions to attempt from each section and 10 marks of each section it's an example okay next what includes in teaching aptitude the following things are included which are the nature objective characteristics and basic requirements for a teacher you should have learners characteristics and one should know the factors which affect the teaching the methods of teaching how to teach and what way to follow for teaching teaching aids like what all equipments along with the strategies what you should follow for teaching and the evolution system in which how you evolve yourself and the system with regarding the syllabus and how you will teach the candidate the required knowledge for their future perspective okay next research aptitude an assistant professor or grf is should have the ability to research it means he sh- or she should know the meaning characteristics and types of research along with the steps to be taken in a research like collection of data analysis after that submission of data using particular models or any technique for it research ethics which is very very important it is basically the ethics of an individual which is used during any research work along with your phd guide or your uh, organization senior which tests the ability and individual responsibility along with the ethics not cheat or do under the given orders and in any research or uh, higher studies the evaluation of an individual or a particular organization is being done by the research papers which is very very important that can be of usually two to three types one is of journal papers that is uh, peer reviewed or non peer reviewed and another one is of conference papers articles of any particular subject or anything like like if you read uh, daily newspapers so you always find latest articles along with the research papers that is in usually science and tech session which usually publish in workshops seminar conferences and uh, symposium okay the final step is to write like how you write your thesis or projects accordingly so it basically test your characteristics and the way of formatting a thesis writing which test your uh, writing ability okay next reading comprehension it is a very basic thing we and we are doing it from our school days in which we have to comprehend a paragraph that is usually a passage and we have to solve the following answer which is given with the help of given paragraph okay next it test the communication and they test the communication skills on the basis of the their individual nature their characteristics along with the types and basically the barriers and effective classroom communications one face next reasoning ability it basically test the ability of one individual to solve any that is of uh, numerical type that is in mathematical types or relationships like uh, father mother wala so that is very 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 basic thing along with the number series letter series codes and you will find it in rk agarwal book that is very famous and it is freely available on online and if you want to buy it you should buy it because uh, it is under copyright and uh, 
buy it guys that is of i guess 300 to 400 between and it is good and in logical reasoning it includes the understanding and the structure of any argument the evaluation and distinguishing uh, deductive and inductive reasoning it is easy basically along with uh, verbal and non verbal and uh, logical reasoning diagrams which includes simple diagrammatic relationships the multi diagram uh, diagrammatic relationships and uh, venn diagram with analytical reasoning the next data interpretation it is very basic guys that if you are from geographical background you must be knowing about gis that is geographical information system and in gis there is a very very sweet concept called data interpretation in which the complete theory is given how to interpret the data what is the you know sources and acquisition of data along with the quantitative and qualitative data types they are basically quality and quantity types the same the basic concept along with the representation how we usually represent our data that could be through diagrammatic and it can be through map and all next is ICT it is basically information and communication technology in which nature advantage disadvantage their uses general abbreviations and terminology basic of internet and emailing it is basically a general part in which each and every person knows it and it is a static part you'll know these things in any book if you are reading and that is sufficient next is people and environment in which you should know the different type of people along with their uh, interaction how to interact with them along with the environment and uh, sources of pollution types of pollutants and their impact on human life along with the exploitation of nature and uh, energy resources natural hazards and mitigation listen guys uh, this is I've, i've told you this is a very static part it is just need to study once and if you are doing it that is sufficient that is it next higher education system it includes governance polity and administration yeah it is very important because this is the main thing where uh, these things are being tested in which the structure of institution for higher learning and research in india you should know about it because uh, in coming time you will be assistant professor kam se kam and uh, formal and distance learning what is education of distance learning and formal learning along with professional and technical teaching what are the general educations about it value education governance polity and administration and that's it and uh, listen guys don't think about it because it is a very basic paper paper number 1 it tests the basic uh, knowledge of an individual and it is very very static part there is no any thing to be done and which is unique or it will analyze you on the things it is just static you should know about it if you write it if you study it and that is enough okay guys that is it for today i hope you like it this is our second part of uh, net grf series in which we have discussed about paper 1 how to read it and listen guys if you want any study material regarding net grf comment down below we have plenty of materials which is required for it and we'll give it to you and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe our efforts because we are doing it for you guys and uh, selflessly you like it and if you want some change so do comment down below just inform us because we are not interacting with you it is just one way of interaction so come along with this it will be helpful for both of us thank you for listening good luck